Let's check out this new cookbook, Sam the Cooking Guy, uh, Between the Buns. It's all about burgers, burritos, tacos, all kinds of stuff. This is by Sam Zion. I'm really excited. Everything looks mouth-watering. I'm usually not a huge burger person, but this looks just oh, so good. And sandwiches, too. It took me a long time to get on the sandwich train, but I'm starting to really dig, you know, grilled sandwiches or paninis, stuff like that. So let's look at some of the table of contents here. We have, I think I might have just passed it. Here we have, we start with the best, tacos. We got burritos, uh, burgers, sandwiches, hot dogs, sides, sauces, and stuff. So here we have an introduction. Let's look at, oh, he starts us off with making our own corn tortillas, which is fantastic. We have a spicy hoisin salmon taco. So these aren't just, you know, standard traditional tacos or burritos and sandwiches. He goes on and does all kinds of stuff. Grilled Asian chicken taco. That looks really awesome. It's like chicken teriyaki in a taco. We have a carne asada taco classic. Oh, my mouth is watering. We have fresh tuna with mango taco. You'll find here the list of ingredients and the step-by-steps here and kind of exactly where this comes from. So this is like, or just his thoughts about each dish. Very simple, easy. So he has a whole bunch of pictures and different kinds of tacos and uh, recipes throughout here. It's very picture forward, which I appreciate. Let's look at some of these burgers. I'm usually, not, like I said, not a burger person, but this one, the Kevin Bacon Burger. That looks phenomenal. And this recipe gives you two burgers. That's kind of nice. We have a salmon burger. So more than just beef. Ooh, the Luther Burger. Oh, that looks amazing. This is actually using donuts. That's very... <laughs> Ooh, an Eggs Benny Burger. That is where, I, I mean, I would be all over that. That sounds amazing. Now, ooh, a Loco Moco Burger. So there's all kinds of burgers you can make here. I, I like where his mind's at. That's really awesome. Now let's look at some of these. Wow, there's actually a lot of different burgers. We have different sandwiches, though, that I would love to check out. So here's a chicken uh, katsu sandwich which is a great, I never really thought of that. I love grill or, you know, deep fried chicken. This is a fantastic idea. Here is a roast beef dip with onion gravy. That's amazing. Hot Italian sandwich, a classic. It looks like he's got a bit of a twist with it, maybe. We have, it's divided into two separate sections, which makes it really approachable and easy. These recipes are very easy. If you are somebody that just loves guilt, I mean, these are definitely guilty pleasures. There's no salads or anything. This is a pretty fun cookbook. Uh, I highly recommend this cookbook. It's really awesome. They, they ha he has different spins or twists on traditional recipes like that uh, Hollandaise Eggs Benedict burger. So there's many things you can use and traditional stuff. So there's lots of things you can do with it and get inspired to make your own fun twisted sandwich or anything between the bun. Let's look at some more stuff. We have fried bologna and cheese sandwich. That was never my thing as a kid, but this one actually looks really tasty. So here we'll, oh, let's look at these burritos. Here's a wet beef burrito. A, oh, I already skipped to hot dogs, but let's look at some more. We have an orange chicken burrito. That's a great idea. Basically wraps. Here's a surf and turf burrito. Let's look at some of these hot dogs and sides two before we end today. Here's the Hawaiian hot dog. That's a great idea. Chili dog. One of my favorites growing up as a kid. And here's some extra sides that you can have with the, these other recipes. So different kinds of fries. He has double cooked, a garlic fry and buffalo chicken fries, which I've never had before. And that sounds great. Homemade tater tots. I wonder how, I bet you these are really awesome. I've never actually tried to make my own tater tots. A uh, frickles, fried dill pickles. <laughs> I've never heard them called frickles. Caramelized onions, which you can put on some of your recipes. This is a great, fun cookbook. I really enjoy it. So if you really love 
sandwiches and those kinds of dishes, this is going to be a great cookbook for you with featuring a lot of different recipes from across the world, traditional and interesting twists. So check out Sam the Cooking Guy Between the Buns. This is by Sam Zion. If you are looking for other cookbooks, make sure to check out our Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest, and our Amazon Live channel at amazon.com slash live slash cookbook divas. And if there's a cookbook you guys want us to look through, make sure to comment down below, subscribe, and leave us a like, and we will make sure to try to get some of those cookbooks for you and feature them. Thank you guys so much for watching.